A lot of times on the forum we get people asking how to open a direct drive hub motor. Most of the methods involve using a multi-arm puller. Most people haven't got those and they're very unstable. So I'm going to show you how to do it without a puller, just using a bench vise to pull the motor apart and a block of wood and a hammer. So first thing to do is to take the side cover off. This one is screwed on. Some of them have Allen keys, but this is normal Phillips head screws. Don't even try and do it with a normal screwdriver. Start off with an impact driver. For those of you that haven't seen an impact driver before, splung loaded unit, hit it with a hammer and the impact helps to turn the, the screw against the hammer blow. Loosen them first, do both sides. Ah, I've got a visitor. Morning dog. Now you can use an oil screwdriver. If you attempt to do the first screws with a normal screwdriver, you'll only end up shooting the heads. Don't do it. It'll give you all sorts of hassle otherwise. A new motor might be different. Before you remove the side covers, mark them in relation to the stator ring, just so you get them back in the same way. So, centre punch the hammer, single dot on this side, and two dots on the other side. Okay, now you know which side the covers come off, you can remove them. Thread the nut so it's flush with the end of the axle. Soft faced hammer. If not, a block of wood and a lump hammer. I don't really use this one. Hear the difference there? That side's now come off. Careful on this one not to cut the wires. Bring it flush. A couple of good thumps. That, that one's popped straight off. Okay, so I've mounted the motor in the vise taking care not to bash the windings. Take this nut off now and just get this other side cover off that didn't fall off. Screwdriver, in there to lever it up? No, don't ever do that. The windings are just in there. In this case it just popped off, but if it didn't come off that easily, just slowly work it out. If you really have to put something in there, be very careful. Mount the motor in the rice. Remove the stator with the magnets on from the coil. Grab it either side, maybe place yourself against the side and just give it a pop. There, simple. Now to reassemble the motor, you don't want to just slide it back over and hope. You might not get it lined up. If you do that, the magnets are going to pull and you're liable to smash the windings. First thing to do, fit a side cover. Once the side cover is fitted, you've now got a central locating point, so you can take it up over the motor. See, it's not pulling, it's not, hasn't, the magnets haven't taken hold yet, and then when they do, there we go, and it's back on again. And again, disassembly, very simple. Straight pull, off it comes.